All right, so now for the next line. You guys are smart, I know. And you may have noticed that the first three measures of this are the same for both lines. So what we want to do is type this in again over here. But there's a little bit easier way, right? Because we're all computer literate and we, we all know about copy and paste and stuff like that, right? So you can do exactly that in note flight. So I'm going to select that first measure, move the mouse over to this third measure, hold down the shift key, click that one. All right, so that's got that selected. Now, I'm sure you're aware about control C and control V. If you're not, well, hold down the control C. That means copy. All right. Click where you want to put this copy and hold down Control and V. That's it. Okay, so now there's another cool trick that I want to show you just while we've got something selected here. You see we've got, this is what we just pasted in here. If I wanted to repeat copy that, those three measures, all you have to do is push the R key and it will make a copy of that. You keep pushing R and get multiple copies. Okay, I'm going to push, I'm going to push Control C here to go back. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to finish this off and put the, the last measure of this. Okay, now what, you, what you'll also know is that the last measure of the first line is very similar to the last measure of the second line. The only difference is that the notes are different. So what we can do is select that measure. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move to the end. And I'm going to go to the next measure. How do I go to the next measure? Okay, so this is note flight in real time. I had to go away and search for this one, actually. So what we want to do, if you want to add a measure to this one, I know there's, uh, you could actually select that E right there and then type E and then type in another E. That would, that would uh, achieve, let me just show that. If you want to add a measure in note flight, what you can do is click well, first of all, I'm going to select that measure like that. If you select a measure away from the notes, then what you should see is this line across the top. I'm going to click on that one. Now, what's happened there is it's brought some other characters here. There's a, there's a plus. If you click on that plus or that plus, what it's going to do is add another measure on either side. So I could, I could actually add a measure right in there. In between those, I'm going to click up here on the top again. Or I could minus that. See? Okay, so what you do is click the measure. Now I think I can also skim back up one step. And select the measure, click in the. Oh, get back up one step. Let's see? Okay, just click above the measure. And then you should get this these other characters up here. So I'm going to add a measure right there. Okay, then what we can do is take this measure. Okay, watch this. Copy, Control, C. Click in that measure, Control, V. Now let's see if this, let's see if something works here. I'm going to click the down arrow. Isn't that clever? See, so it's moved. All of those notes selected down one note. So that's it. That's our Ode to Joy. Now let's put a title. Ode to Joy. So all you do is select in that. Uh, you could put the, uh, the composer. Let's put it right. Okay. just like that. And it's done. All right, so what you need to do, remember this very important point is go up here, click on save. Once you've got that, then the next step is going to be sharing that so that you can share it with anybody who's in your class or any or your teacher or any other students. So I'm going to show you that up next.